Hey guys, here are the six secrets uh, to become a kick-ass software architect. There are several architectural patterns like uh, microservices, uh, uh, message-oriented middleware, microkernel, uh, service-oriented architecture, layered architecture. You should be really well-versed in all these architectural patterns and you should know when to use them, how to use them and where to use them. Uh, you're not, it's not enough if you uh, just know .NET or if you call yourself a, a J2E architect. If you want to be a software architect, you should be uh, well versed with uh, various ecosystems. You should have a good idea about the Java stack, the JavaScript stack, what does Node.js offer, what is the difference between Angular and React, why you use c -sharp? how do you create Spring Boot services, uh, why do you use Ruby on Rails? Why not uh, uh, Scala? What about functional programming languages? Okay, what is DevOps? You need to have a good idea about all these tools, all these technologies, and uh, most importantly, you need to have a working knowledge of all these things. Uh, what is the industry talking about right now? Okay, what is uh, Bitcoin? Uh, what is uh, blockchain uh, uh, technology? What is AI? What is machine learning? And what does Java 9 has to offer uh, to us? What is the latest version of Angular talking about? And uh, what are the different types of NoSQL databases? What is a graph database? Why use a uh, NoSQL database? Uh, what is the difference between a, a, a MySQL and a PostgreSQL? Uh, and uh, uh, what are the different cloud providers? Okay, what are they talking about? Which is the cheapest cloud uh, provider out there? Should I use digital version or should I use uh, Azure or should I use uh, uh, just uh, AWS? What are the latest books available out there? And uh, so you need to keep your ears and eyes open okay, for uh, uh, news about the latest uh, trends in the industry. Uh, I don't want PowerPoint architects. I don't want somebody handing over a PowerPoint presentation saying, hey, this is my architecture diagram and uh, that's it. Uh, I'm good to go. And you go back and work uh, alone. Uh, and good software architect should not shy away from writing code if necessary. And uh, though you may not have the luxury to write code often in a, as a software architect, uh, it's, it's always better to identify the complex part in your system and uh, crack code in that. So you should be ready to write code anytime okay, in the project. If you're going to work in a banking industry, if you're going to work for the recruitment domain, if you're going to build an e-commerce application, it's always better to have a good idea about uh, uh, the, the domain that you're talking about. And uh, it helps you evolve, uh, come up with a much better uh, architecture. And most importantly, you have to collaborate well with the design team, the development team, the QA team. You just don't sit there as a software architect inside a cave and, uh, uh, and, and uh, make sure uh, and, and ensure that the rest of the things happen uh, automatically. You have to collaborate with them, you have to sit with them, work with them. You need to have good uh, communication skills, good uh, 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 management skills, and most importantly, you need to be a good team player. So now that you know all the six uh, uh, secrets to become a software architect, it's for you to evaluate and decide uh, whether you have all these abilities to become a good software architect or if you already want, okay, uh, to make, to just ensure, uh, to, to assess whether you uh, uh, are a good software architect right now or not. Thank you.